Hi students, welcome to our new LMS, which stands for Learning Management System. We are transitioning from Blackboard to Brightspace, and you all will be piloting that with me. So please, I ask for your patience and your understanding if you end up on some weird haunted house land where it uploaded and was bad. I think I have gotten most of the problems out of this particular class, but that doesn't mean I won't find little landmines, nor will you. So the first thing I want to bring your attention to is just a basic tour of the class. So uh, you might be taking more than one class. Uh, you shouldn't in the same section, but... Uh, if you are, then you're wild and crazy. And you could just need to make sure you select the Fundamentals of Speech DL, which is for distance learning. This is where you will land the home page. And if you scroll down, you will see the announcements and the calendar. The calendar is on the left side of your screen and the announcements is on the right side. Um, these announcements, uh, usually we'll also have a link to get you to the things that you need to see and those should also in theory um, when I update them during the class go to your email. Um, I will figure that journey out together. I want to bring your attention to some really important things up here on the navigation bar. This is the navigation bar and your most important place is content. Content has all of your assignments and every module. Modules in a seated class during a semester equal a week. In your class, it equals about two days. Uh, the first module, I give you a little bit longer just so you can get used to what's going on, but hopefully some of you, like Robert, uh, will already have been looking at this. Um, so right away, you can go and click on Module 1 and you'll see that it'll show up here on your page. You can click on that and you will get into the module proper. Your first two assignments are to read every page, sign every page of your syllabus and your professor-student contract. Um, and you will be turning that in as an assignment and you will also be taking a test on it. So as long as you do both of these things and scan or take photos of them and upload all of the documents of both of these, you will have accomplished your first um, intelligence test. All right, over here you can hit next and go to the next part of module one, which is your, in if this was a seated class in a 15 week semester, this would be your first week's work. Um, this is where you upload your assignment. This is the assignment part. So usually you'll have the prep preparation part of the assignment and then you'll have the assignment. You would hit upload here and you would bring in all of the documents. If you took a whole bunch of pictures, for example, you need to bring all of those pictures up of both documents, okay? There's also the option of recording, which um, might simplify some things for some of you. You might be able to just bring all of them, be like, hey, Ms. Barkle, here are all of my things. And uh, that way you don't have to upload a whole bunch. Or you can scan them. I prefer to scan myself because it just creates one document and I have it forever. All right, the next thing will scroll you to the next part of the module, which is where you're supposed to watch the YouTube help tutorials to help you make a YouTube channel. Or if you already have a YouTube channel, great, then just copy that in the assignment link. You would scan, go to the next thing, which will open up a new window, which is the YouTube help page. And it shows you how to make a Hi, YouTube channel, channel should you need to. Hello, I'm Hannah from the channel. Hannah. We're going to go out of that. Then you can hit the next for the module. And this is where you would upload your link. So, for example, I can go here, grab it, hit Command-C or Control-C or hit Copy and Paste on my left click, whatever you do to copy, and then just paste it into <coughs> the, uh, the assignment, okay? Um, I think in Upload, you have a couple of options of that. Um, so you could go to a document and have it there. Um,
there, choose existing, that's not there. So you will have to create a document for this, which is a little unfortunate for a lot of my assignments. You used to be able to just write in this. Um, but oh well, uh, quickly, you know, just put the assignment there and good job. Uh, actually, an upload, it should. You could just give me a picture or something, a screenshot of it, and then once you have the screenshot, it will... Um, like if we grab a picture right now, I don't know what that is, um, that's there. You are also allowed to put a comment. So in the comment, that's where you can copy and paste it. All right, I'm going to get rid of that. Uh, that's sort of a way around that. It's kind of not convenient, so I apologize, but whatever. Okay, so then you go to the next part of the module, and it is the Getting to Know You Forum. Uh, this is where you will click on that and it will take you to the discussions and you will start a new thread okay so this is where you will write and answer all of the questions that are right here you need to post your name your major where you were born who your favorite person is and after that you need to respond to four other students posts with college level spelling and grammar yes i do pay attention to the stuff here is something fun that you should look at, and most people don't, and then they get mad at me when they get a bad grade. This is your rubric on how I grade this. Um, it will tell you that you need to have your first post in before 10 a.m. on the day the module is due. Okay, Responses and grammar, spelling, and netiquette. Why do I care about that stuff? Because you're college students, and I want you to have good communication skills. This is a communications class after all. Unfortunately, you do have to go back to content because you have one more task to do. Um, and I tried to find a way to fi make this look nicer, but I apologize it didn't work. You do have the course test that you have to take. So um, I might move it so the, the discussion is last so you don't have to go all the way through, but I haven't figured out how to do that yet. But anyways, you have a quiz here. You hit start quiz and you say okay. It's not very hard. You just you need to have read the syllabus and the professor student contract and it will be very easy. It takes a second for it to load, but as you can see, true false, true false, little fill in the blank, and a little short answer. Um, anyway, there's all that and you would save all responses and I'm going to get out of that. If you go back to content, you will see that I will have a not important thing. Sometimes I put the unimportant things in the module at the bottom and usually this is stuff that just I always get questions about the first day of class and this is one of them like oh my gosh how the heck am I supposed to do an online speech class. This is a video to help you with that. I've also sent that out in the announcements. Um, the last thing that's important for you to know about is over here in my bright space is class progress. Class progress is where you can see when I've graded something, and obviously I haven't graded anything, nor have I turned anything in as this pretend student view, so it won't be here. But if you go there to class progress, it always will have my response in the rubric, and you can look at the rubric. If you go to grades, you'll be able to look at your grade, but it won't give you all of the specific things that you may or may not have done wrong. So I would say a better place to look at your grades is class progress. Other than that, you have lots of places where you can set up your profile so you guys can get to know each other better. There's instant messaging. Robert already asked me about this. And yes, I will respond to it if I'm online, but I don't have the app yet on my phone, and I don't even know if it's available. So I need to look into that. Uh, but I was responding to him when I was online. Email is better. Um, so uh, my email is jbarkle at sunnysullivan.edu. All right. Thank you so much for taking this journey with us, and I will see you online.